I'm getting ready to make Chinese fried rice. I need to have some cooked rice, so I put in two and a half cups of water. I wash the brown rice, the brown rice before I put it in here. And I'm getting, what I'm going to be doing is once the water starts boiling, I'm going to cover, this is a pressure cooker. I'm going to cover the pressure cooker, let it boil for about five minutes, lower the heat down to medium low for about 10 minutes, then lower the heat to low for about 10 minutes, and then let it just sit for another 10 minutes. I would turn it off after that, and that's how I cook my rice. So, but, but I do need to make more rice because you need cooked, already prepared rice when you make fried rice. So that's what I'm working on right now. Getting ready to pre-cook the pork because I also need some cooked pork. Here's the pork right here and I'm going to throw it in this little pot and cook it and just add some salt and pepper and fry it and uh, get it ready for the fried rice. Okay I just put the uh, pork in here. It's kind of still frozen in a way. <laughs> I took it out of the freezer yesterday. This is pork that I bought on the 29th. Today's is July the 2nd. I bought this on July. So let's just go ahead and get this cooked and ready for the fried rice. It's cooking in a little bit of olive oil. You say, why well, such a small pan? Because I want to save my regular pan for the fried rice. I found I, This is my second time making this. And last time when I cooked the pork in the same pan that I cooked the fried rice in, it caused like a crust to be on the bottom of the pan that made it more difficult to manipulate the ingredients when I threw them in the rice and everything. So I'm going to do uh, cook the uh, pork in a separate pan this time. So I'm going to just be twisting it around here until it gets cooked. And then it'll be ready for it. Then I'll have my cooked pork ready for the fried rice. My uh, rice is cooking over here. It's about time to lower the temperature. Let's put it down to about right down there. I do not want to overcook this rice because if it gets too mushy, it's going to kind of mess up the fried rice. I also have some leftover rice in the refrigerator that I'm going to be using as well. Okay, it's cooking pretty nicely there. So I'll have it ready. I haven't even had breakfast yet. I'm just kind of making, preparing some of my ingredients ahead of time because I will be making fried rice today. So, and some of the ingredients have to already be pre-cooked like the uh, pork and stuff. Looks like it's just about ready there. I don't want to use too much salt because last time I made this it was a tad too salty. So I'm probably going to cut back on the soy sauce too when I fry the rice. Okay, it looks like it's done here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off. I mean, the, at least the, uh, the cooked meat portion is ready for the recipe. Uh, the rest, the rice here, I'm making some homemade chicken stock over there, but that's something separate. Okay, I just uh, opened up some turkey bacon that I bought a couple days ago. And I'm rolling them up three strips each into the circles. And I'm going to put these in the freezer. And then that's what I'm going to use in my fried rice. And I'll be chopping that up. Cut this into uh, one inch pieces for the fried rice. I'm preparing all my ingredients ahead of time. And, you know, I don't have to follow the recipe exactly. This will work. <laughs> So, I actually have four pieces. The recipe calls for three, but one of the fourth one is really thin. And I like a little extra meat in my fried rice, because <laughs> this will be my only meat dish for the day, and Asian foods don't usually have a lot of meat, so that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> that's about one inch. <laughs> so, I guess it depends on how you look at it, you know, one inch going one way or the other way. That's good enough. So, um... Okay. The next thing I want to do is, oops, is scramble the eggs. Because the, the recipe calls for scrambled eggs. So I already broke those eggs and just let me just go ahead and scramble them. Here's some bean, beans. This is canned bean sprouts because uh, I had an old can of bean sprouts that I wanted to use. Actually, fresh green sprouts works better, but that's okay. This is pork that I've already cooked, and it's ready to be thrown in there when the time is right. So let me just go ahead and uh, scramble the eggs here.
And now I'm going to have to measure out three cups of cooked rice and just have it ready to throw in there when the time is right. Go ahead and uh, put the eggs over here for right now. This is some rice that I cooked, I think, several days ago. Today, Lori used brain control on me and caused me to forget to turn the rice off, so some of it stuck to the bottom of my pan. So there's about one cup right there. But this is rice that I made several days ago, which has a nice consistency. This is a great way to use leftover rice, by the way. You know what? I may not have had to cook rice today, but then I'm planning on making miso soup and miso soup is always good with some rice. There's two cups there. You know what? Looks like I had just the right amount. That's okay. It never hurts to have a little extra rice laying around. Uh, let me see. I might need to get a little bit more rice. Yeah, let's go grab a little bit more rice. We're just a tad short here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I could use a little bit more. We're just a tad short. There's some in the refrigerator. <laughs> Some that I made today. Actually, I think I, um, yeah, there's some in the refrigerator. Uh, no, that's not it. It's, uh, oh, oh, here it is. Okay. I'm going to throw some of this in there. There we go. That's about three cups. I'm going to throw in a little bit more. <laughs> because I'm using a little extra meat. And last time the recipe was a bit soft. You know what? Why not put it all in there? Yeah. <laughs> that way I'll have both of these containers emptied. It's about three cups, especially if you smash it in there, you know. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Okay, first thing I have to do is uh, heat one tablespoon. Let me go ahead and show this to you. The recipe comes from my Chinese cookbook. I will have a link to this recipe at my w website, so just check underneath the video. So I'm going to heat be heating one tablespoon of oil on the wok, scrambling the eggs. Then we cook the bacon next. And then... Uh, anyways, the recipe will be at my uh, website. I'll have a link. Okay. Heat it. They say heat about one tablespoon oil in the wok. There's my wok. <laughs> I'll just use olive oil. I like olive oil. That's good enough. You know what? Yeah. That's, that's good. I'm just kind of guessing there. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, this is what I like. Let's go ahead and spread that oil around. Yep. I already, um, pre-cut the green onions. I always get fresh green onions that I use in place of onions because I'm I probably don't need to be doing this because I've learned I figured out that Laura McBride is using some complicated attacks on my gale shield I think to induce what appears to be food intolerances in me but it's pretty I'm playing like a game with her but I've noticed using green onions in place of onions still tastes good so okay it's getting warm yeah, it's pretty good there. Uh, scramble eggs. It needs to be a little bit hotter. I'm going to need something to put that in so when I set it aside. Yeah, this will work. Put that right there for right now. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and throw the eggs in there. Maybe I should have got the oil a little hotter. My stove's a little slow. <clears throat> Does seem to be cooking though. Yeah. 
The eggs add a nice flavor to this. This is a Chinese version of fried rice. There's actually a Japanese version that my mother makes. <laughs> the Asians kind of borrow from each other a lot, I've noticed. Okay. Okay. Once it's cooked, then I'll remove it from the pan. to the pan. So we add, now we'll throw the bacon in there until, this is turkey bacon, they actually use regular bacon, it probably tastes better with regular bacon, but it's a work. <laughs> uh, throw the bacon in there. I'm using turkey bacon because I have another recipe that calls for turkey bacon, so I'm just letting turkey bacon work for several recipes. So we, they say to cook it until most of the fat comes out. This is turkey bacon is more lean than regular bacon, so Ooh, geez. Lori's brain control is something awful, let me tell you. Let's see if I can get it a little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> That's her specialty. <laughs> Till most of the fat is cooked out. That's pretty good there. Okay, the next thing you do now is uh, drain off excess fat and replace with two tablespoons oil while well, there's really no excess fat. Let me just throw in a little bit of oil here. I, don't, I use a little bit less than the recipe calls for. That's good enough. <laughs> That's about one tablespoon, I think. Okay, now the next thing you do now is you throw in the meat, the onions, and the bean sprouts. Here's the meat. Cooked meat. I'm using pork. I like this with pork. The onions. Uh, I'm going to throw in enough green onions there that'll be about the equivalent of one small onion. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And then I'm going to throw in the bean sprouts a little bit towards a little later because these are canned bean sprouts and I don't want to get too wilted. Okay, so you cook them there for about uh, one minute. Let's go ahead and throw in the bean sprouts now. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, drain them. I store them in water and then change the water every day because I usually don't use the whole can. And uh, that way I don't waste the 
because this is actually my second try at doing this. Let's go ahead and throw in the bean sprouts now. That's canned bean sprouts. They, if the recipe actually tastes better with fresh, but you know, I I buy so much stuff that I have to get some stuff canned so that my fresh food doesn't get rotten on me. So let's just go ahead and uh, cook that now. trick about this for my mother. So here's the three cups of rice. When you add the soy sauce, let it kind of cook in the pan. I'll show you the technique. <laughs> Gives the soy sauce kind of a nice flavor. Um, the recipe calls for two to three tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm going to use two because I used three the other day and it was way too salty. Or maybe two and a half. Kind of clear out a bit of the pan and leave a spot right there to add the soy sauce and just kind of let it cook in that spot before you swish it around. So, um, okay. You see I got that spot, that's where I'm going to add it. My mother's really picky about this. She uses like Kiko Men soy sauce, but I'm willing to use the cheap Great Value brand. Okay, there's one. That's it. I'm not using any more than that. <laughs> Last time I used three and it was a little bit too salty. So two will be fine. So you kind of like let it cook there for a while before you swish everything around. That's good. Let's go ahead and start swishing around now. The recipe actually calls for using regular onions, and it's really good with regular onions, but it also works with green onions. That's the low FODMAP version of it. Low FODMAP seems to be easier on my tummy, though I think a lot of it is mental. I think Laura McBride Bride is playing mind games with me while she attacks my gale shield. Okay, now let's go ahead. It's kind of swished around real good here. Okay, the next thing you're going to do now is... Um, Add eggs and mix in with the rice. So we'll go ahead and add this in. Add eggs, mix in with the rice. I try not to let the and then you toss in. I'm going to turn the heat off. Okay. Then you toss in uh, the green onions. So I'm going to toss in some more green onions. Then we're done. And I will let you know how, well I already made it before, but this one might be better because I cut back on salt. So I will taste it and let you know. I actually turned the heat off because I don't like the rice sticking too much to the pan. Okay. We are done. Turn the heat off. Just enough to keep it cooking, but that's good. All right, let's, I'm pretty sure that was it. Yep. So here's what it looks like. There's another view of it.
myself a little bit better lighting here. Let's try it. Mmm, good. Really good. Mmm. It's, it's, it's good. This is a winner.